we're going to be take check today like what exactly the rib we need to have what what will be the distance between the rib what will be the root thickness of the rib and for that we will just check with the example something like this this is we're going to be have the part so there will be the end we're going to have the flange and with respect to that with respect to that we're going to be have the ribs okay suppose this is we're going to be have the part and then here we're going to be have the rib so what exactly we're going to be have the root thickness okay so root thickness is important into the automatic plastic b side feature because that lead to the sink mark that is nothing but the defect occur onto the a side so if you just check over here in this particular case so this kind of the depression will be occur is known as a sink mark so that is called as a quality defect into the automatic plastic dermatome part in injection molding so these are nothing but the a side classes of as we going to be have this is nothing but the b side class b surface which is not visible this is visible so this root thickness occur due to the shrinkage property of the material like whenever there is a material from solid state to liquid state it going to be change similar to what we have in the water to ice case so this is a ice tray we going to be have in ice tray definitely when we are pouring the water it will be with the level of that particular ice tray but when we receive the ice so what will be happen so the change from liquid to solid state it will be pop up from the surface of the ice tray so this is something of the change in phase will cause a change in a volume or in, in change in something of the shape so same case over here we going to be have when we pour the automotive like injection molding the plastic molten plastic so that will be in liquid form when it become a solid so whenever it it suppose the flow is from this side it will be reach some here first by the time it will be reach some here it start feeding from the top of the b side feature and then again reach some here so this whenever it reach to this particular we will say like t1 time is there and we know it is reach at some here it's t2 so material as soon as reach in, in this particular area it start get solidifying until and this you are not providing the heat from the other side so this will be get start solidifying and this is the rule we going to be have so particles going to be attract when it going to get solidify so this will be attract the particles from the bottom and due to that there will be a resultant you can say like depression onto the a side so this is just a due to property of the material so each and every material what we have in the plastic so that going to be react as the same the only difference is they have the different different range of shrinkage so shrinkage is nothing but the property of expand or the contract when they going to be change solid to liquid phase so here we have the pp so for pp we going to have the 40% root thickness we need to maintain with respect to the part part thickness so same with we going to be have the abs so this is a generic rule 60% we required for abs with respect to the part thickness okay so the range will be 40 to 60% it will it depend upon the material so if you have the pp we going to have the 40% we have the abs we going to have the 60% and with respect to that there will be a shrinkage available so now this part part having a material pp so definitely the root thickness what we need to maintain is a 40% of the part thickness suppose part thickness of this part is 2.5 so definitely we going to be have okay so part thickness of this particular part is 2.5 so what will be the 40% if it's going to be give the easy so we can say the 1 mm we require 0.4 so another 1 mm we required 0.4 and another 0.5 we required half of this is nothing but 0.2 so if we calculate the left side we have 2.5 and we just calculate the right side we having 1 mm so this is a 40% we are going to be do because in interview they going to be asked directly so what is the root thickness we can have if the part thickness is 3 mm so kind of questions we can do it orally so that you can keep in your mind this kind of thing break down into the one that will be easy like 40 40 you can add 60 60 or whatever will be the root thickness depending upon the part thickness so this is a one thing and the root thickness what we maintain so 40 to 60% depending upon the material we need to maintain the root thickness then we going to be have the draft 
so top you already know like b surface we require a minimum 0.5 degree drop to easy removal of the mold okay so then again we're going to give the height height is again the most important parameter in, in this case of the ribs so height is nothing but the you know, five times t okay so five times t will be something like t here we have 2.5 so 2.5 into 5 it's close to 12.5 but again this will be depend upon the part thickness where exactly it located and how it's going to be affect so maximum we can go for 12.5 beyond that if you if you if you reach what will be happen the tip thickness or the top thickness what we required in some way here is again we have the restriction so we have the 0.8 as the tip thickness or the top of the thickness when it required so what will be happen if you are not maintain that particular thickness so whenever the mold is going to get created okay, so the mold created with respect to the milling operation in, in a hard steel okay suppose we can take this as a separate something like this will be core they need to create okay so while creating the core we need to have this particular slot need to be done into the core okay and that will be used by the milling cutter the milling cutter we again we going to be have that so beyond beyond that we cannot go for point eight as well as when you feel the material when you feel the material so it will be not proper if we go beyond the eight point eight okay so something like this we have the sharp one so in this particular area the material will not be failed and due to the shrinkage we're going to be have a half portion get filled or short short effect what we're going to be have that might be seen over there so material will not be filled beyond that point eight that might be the possibility so for that reason we are mentioning so in automatic plastic or injection molding we required a point eight minimum at the tip of the root side on the b side feature and the root side we required the 40 percent if part thickness is 2.5 we required 1 mm height will be 5 times t t is right now 2.5 depending upon the sink mark this might be changed as well as draft we require for the b side feature 0.5 to remove the part from the mold so these are nothing but the ribs we're going to be have on the sets we're going to be have that will be essential to add the strength in the part and another thing we have with respect to this is nothing but distance between the two ribs okay so there will be another rib we're going to be have and with respect to that how much distance we can keep okay so this distance is also depend upon the thickness so here you can find two times thickness we required or the minimum five okay two time thickness again the thickness we have over here is 2.5 into 2 will be 5 mm okay and still we are asking for the minimum 5 minimum 5 is nothing but set still like still we need to have something like this we, we are going to be create so in that case still we require so whatever the steel is going to be feel somewhere here is it's kind of this something like this we require to have the steel so there is again one more rib we need to add so this much steel we required is nothing but the 5 mm to make sure because the mold is going to be used for the n number of quantity and we want to make sure that this will not break okay so kind of this condition we require to have the minimum 5 mm or the two times t whatever will be the thickness applicable so this is something like regarding to the rib we're going to be have some of the design rules we need to follow while designing the ribs or the b-side features